Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is a mount of heaven. We are always talking here about Mount Zion. And many people believe that we are talking about this small hill in Israel. But that is far from the truth. Mount Zion that will come down at the sixth seal, as mentioned in Revelation 6 and 7, is a mountain that is not carved by human hands. The mountain, the stone that will become a mountain that will destroy the statue or destroy the statue in the dream of Daniel, that is Mount Zion, the holy mountain that will come down. As it is written in Micah, that this mountain that comes from heaven will be placed over all the mountains on the earth. Mount Zion is a heavenly mountain. So if people say Mount Zion is heavenly, that is correct. But it will be on earth at that time. Because the people will see something huge coming down. As you can see in Revelation 6, at the sixth seal. And they try to hide before the one who sits on the throne, that is God the Father, and before the Lamb, that is on Mount Zion. The Lamb has come for his wrath. The wrath of the Lamb. What is the trumpet period? Not the seal tribulation that we are starting right now, but the trumpet period with 144,000 and the two witnesses. But right now we start with the seal period. The bride will go into the escape and the seals will be opened. And at the sixth seal, there will be the rupture of the remnant church. Many people believe that the whole church will be ruptured. There is only one rupture event. So that is not correct. Only 10% of the church, only the ones who have no spot in wrinkle, will go in the escape event, what is the first event, what is right now at hand. They will go and meet Jesus in the air, and at this time nobody will see him, except the people who will go into the escape. And these people will go to the third heaven, to the Father's place. And then the great multitude that nobody could number, because of revivals coming up during the seal tribulations and because the people have seen that 10% of the Christians and 2% of the world population have disappeared in the escape, they will then find faith and will then follow and change their dirty garments into white fine linen so they can stand at the multitude clothed in white at Mount Zion, at the sixth seal, and there the rapture will take place, into paradise, not into the third heaven, into paradise. And then we will have another final event, when Jesus will come down, feet down on the Mount of Olives, when the Mount will split in two, there will be another event. That is what we call the return. So you have the escape as the first event, the rupture as the second event, and the return as the third event. Three events. But the Mount Zion is not the hill in Israel. It never was. It is, was always about, if you read in the Bible, it's always about the heavenly Zion. But at the sixth seal, the heavenly Zion will come down in a pattern to what happened at Mount Sinai. There also heavenly Zion came down. And in, in what form? In bright splendor? No. In thick darkness. Because it's a secret place of the Lord. Moses entered at Sinai's thick darkness. And in that thick darkness, he met the Lord. The same with us at Mount Zion. It will be thick darkness. Dark clouds, energy clouds. But we will find an entrance, a gate will be opened to us so that we can enter in 
and inside we will find paradise. And we also receive the spiritual mention that Jesus has promised us in John 14 too. But until then, until the sixth seal, we have a duty, we have a destiny to fulfill. And that is in Gaza, the people with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit to bring the wheat into the barn. And how do we do that? By establishing dwelling places of Zion in your neighborhoods. Everybody is called for us to do that. And you can do that very easily. You can register an association and then you bring the people into this association. 50, not more than 50. 50 is also a biblical number. Remember, when Jesus was feeding the 5,000, he told the apostles, place them into a company of 50. This is because there should not be more than 50. 50 is the maximum number in a dwelling place of Zion. So you establish a dwelling place of Zion, then you gather the assembly of Zion, the 50 people together. When you have more than 50 people, you establish a new dwelling place of Zion. And in these dwelling places of Zion, you empower the people through so teaching and preaching in the world. And when they are empowered and they have received the Holy Spirit, they will then go out into their neighborhoods. And there they will bring in the harvest of the ages. There they will gather in the wheat into the barn of the Lord. This is what you should do. This is your purpose and destiny on earth at this time. If you do not know how to establish a dwelling place of Zion, please contact me under triplegrace55 at gmail.com. But don't remain in the world and don't remain in the false Babylon system. Don't remain seated in a church bench. Step forward and establish your own dwelling place of Zion. In your house, in a meeting place, wherever you find a space. And there you gather the assembly of Zion, 50 people. Then you empower them because you will be the elder. You will empower them and you will send them out into the neighborhoods. And they will bring in the harvest of the ages. And not only you will do that, but a thousand other dwelling places will do that too. So we will become a huge number, a number that nobody can number. The fulfillment of the promise of the Abrahamic seed and the Abrahamic covenant. I will make your seed great as the stars in heaven or as the sand on the sea. This is the fulfillment, the multitude closed and white at the sixth seal at Mount Zion. Thank you that you have listened to this topic. Please step forward now and establish your own dwelling place of Zion. Gather the assembly, empower them, preach and teach to them with the word, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, and then send them out with the Holy Spirit in the neighborhood to gather the people to the Lord, to bring the wheat into the barn. I hope you liked this topic today and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. If you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also become a member of our website triple-grace.com and if you are guided by the Holy Spirit, please sow into the ministry so that this message can reach the whole world. I love you all so dearly and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.